Hi guys, nothing to prove here. Today's a beautiful day because any day one can be out and about on two wheels is a beautiful day. Today I'm on the all new for 2019 Triumph Street Twin. Yeah, the little brother to the all new Speed Twin, the 1200cc. This is the 900cc, which they improved the motor up the ponies by 10. Now it's at 65 ponies, gave it a little more torque. Now it's up to 80 newton meters of torque. So they gave it a little more power and a little more things. And this is what Triumph calls their most successful classic custom bike or custom classic bike, whichever you want to call it. But I have a question, Triumph. Why is it only two years old and you've already updated it if it's your most successful? Maybe it's because you want to stay on top or maybe because it's so cheap. Yeah, because the bigger brother is two and a half grand more or more, almost three grand more. But this thing still weighs just as much as the Speed Twin. Yeah, it's lower power, smaller gas tank, and a few other changes, a few other things. But they did do some updates for this year, for 2019. And I hope you guys stick around and enjoy the ride. All right, guys, on the ride out here, you'll see the seat height is 760 mils off the ground. That is a very low, low seat height, and you can see the, the seat to foot peg reach is very tucked, as you can see in the ride by there. Um, I would not want to be on this all day long because I'm, I'm 5'10, 176 centimeters, and my inseam is 32 inch. So, yeah, if, if you're my height or taller, I would not recommend this bike for you. Uh, Triumph is obviously aiming this at your shorter entry-level riders. And now I said entry-level riders. Would I recommend this bike for your first bike? Yes. Would I recommend the previous gen, the 2017 or 2018, of this? That's where I knew there are several other bikes that I would rather have to introduce. But now Triumph has made these changes, these improvements uh, to the motor, to the brakes, to the suspension. I like the clicking of the suspension or of of the of the transmission much much better in this evolution. Triumph, good job. Um, I didn't care for the previous gen. I'm just gonna be upfront and honest. Uh, Cause you guys know me, I'm honest. If I find something, I rode the previous gen last year, last summer, uh, I don't know, May, June, so uh, 10 months ago. And now riding this, massive improvement. So if you guys are thinking about saving a grand on buying a leftover 18 or a used 17, saving a grand or two, don't. Get the new gen you will not regret it and you, you'll keep this bike longer. It's more power, 10 more ponies. Yeah, let's get into the, uh, let's get into the uh, walk around here. Um, I'm starting to quote off numbers. Now let's go over the numbers and let's get up close and personal in 4K with this bike real quick. Uh, let me come around here and take a look at this bike. Oh, gorgeous, yeah. You can see this color, this is the iron stone, the matte iron stone color. You can also get it in the jet black and also the red. I, I do, I've seen both of those colors in person. I like them both, but this is a very, very, very unique color here. I, I really do like this color, Triumph, good job. Um, coming down to the motor here, you can see that this is the 900 Bonneville and uh, motor and um, 65 ponies right at 7500 rpms good job triumph and 80 newton meters of torque only at 3800 rpms good job triumph thumbs up there no no complaints oh and i love this look at that pipe coming off there oh yeah good job triumph with that header oh coming right out yeah good job yeah, we, we've, we've got your typical Triumph bling here. Uh, bling, 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 bling. 
Uh, yeah, then there's over 140 accessories that Triumph <laughs> put online that you can go to your heart's content. They have the and they have starter kits like the cafe kit, uh, also the um, urban kit. Uh, the starter kits to where you can bling this bike out till you're blue in the face or till your bank account says hold off <laughs> All right, let's go up to the front suspension here the KYB's They're in, they're not inverted forks as you can see there, but they are the cartridge forks the cartridge damping um, Brembo's four piston monoblock as you can see there on a 310 millimeter disc so they're singles, there's not one on the other side, and that's why you need a fixed four-piston monoblock there for the, for the strength. Uh, did I care for it? Yeah, it was okay. It was better than the previous gen. Now, coming down here to the rear, you have the Nissan two-piston floaters there. Those, those, were, those were okay. You guys can tell that I'm kind of being careful. Um, because this is an entry-level bike and I'm used to performance up up here and this is just not quite there yet but it's okay so let's let's take a look at the back here and you guys know I like to do a flyover coming up onto the tank and I love this 12 liter tank this look this this uh, <laughs> iron stone look this is great so this bike weighs 198 kilos dry, then you put gas in it and so on, and you're looking at 207, 20-ish, 206, 207 kilos total wet weight with all the liquids and fluids in it and so on. It's okay, the weight, although the Speed Twin is a little less. So spend the extra two and a half grand to get the Speed Twin, <laughs> that's what I would say. Okay, coming up here, you have your standard controls there with your mode. Uh, then also your standard controls there. Nothing new there. Now, this instrument, it's just your speed, and you can change this to see the RPM digitally read out on the LCD. Uh, and also I'm in road mode, as you can see there. You can change that over to rain or back to road. Also, you can change, you know, your, your kilometers. Yeah, that's how many kilometers are on this, 22. Trip 1, trip 2, 5.6 is what I'm getting. 143 kilometers to empty in the time. I like to keep it on RPM is actually where I like to keep that. Right, let me shut the ignition back off. Uh, the mirrors work. They're okay. I don't really care for the mirrors on this bike. And, uh, but as you guys can tell, there's a lot of things that I think the Triumph Speed Twin spoiled me. I just rode that two days ago. And probably by the time this video is up, that will be up and then this will follow. Triumph, you made the Speed Twin and I rode that first. Now you've spoiled me for this bike. And this is why I'm kind of having a, uh, everything on this bike is a little bit lower. Whether it's uh, performance, the suspension, the brakes, the power, the, the turn-in. I think that that's my most, uh, my most serious concern is the turn-in, but I think that's the tires. I don't like these Phantoms at all. I know Triumph, you're going for the modern classic look. Uh, but you're sacrificing uh, performance uh, and that confidence inspiring ability that a bike will have for a beginner or not. And this actually is aimed at your entry level riders. And I was not filled with confidence when I was leaned over in a corner coming out here. That's my concern. Uh, so if you guys want to get this bike, just change the tires. Use up these, get used to it, and then stick on some Russell 3s or some other good uh, performance tires on there. Since they're sticking Pirellis on here, if you want to stay with Pirellis, I would suggest the Russell 3s. Um, but I, I, I get the retro look that you're going for with this Triumph. Yeah, I do. Okay. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and let me gear up, get everything in my backpack, and let's get on down the road to see how all these numbers translate into what it communicates to the rider and how it feels. All right, let's gear up. Okay, let's talk about the powertrain as I'm going into the first corner here. The engine is drastically improved from 55 to 65 ponies, and uh, it's... Uh, I can tell the difference. It's, it's much, much more power in the 80 newton meters of torque, right at 3,800 RPMs. And you can just putt along here at 70 kilometers per hour, just at 2,200 RPMs. Just put, 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 put. <laughs> and this is only a five speed transmission. Um, you're only going to have a problem with that if you go out on a highway. Uh, if you don't, then then this is fine like roads like this this is great so the powertrain the engine it gets two thumbs the tranny uh, you only get one thumb so in total one and a half thumbs triumph for the powertrain um, drastically improved from the previous gen though very very easily improved no problem okay so now let's talk about the suspension the chass um, no real complaints, so to speak. Hello? As you can tell, I'm, I'm holding in my tongue because <laughs> of these tires. I think these tires are ruining uh, this suspension um, and how it feels when you lean over. It's not confidence inspiring. So the chass only gets one thumb from me, Triumph. Sorry. Sorry, all you Triumph guys. I'm, I'm just being honest. It's my opinion. And you know what they say about opinions. They're like assholes. Everybody's got one. <laughs> uh, the in-town manners of this bike are pretty good, actually. Uh, with this low seat height, it feels like I'm dragging my ankles on the ground <laughs> um, so weaving in and out of traffic if, if you're looking for a commuter bike and it's you need this Triumph Parallel Twin this 270 degree firing uh, ordering order then this is the bike uh, if you want that Triumph name with that ease, ease of use so to speak and ease of power yeah, I would recommend this as a city commuter. Now we're going to slow down to 30 kilometers per hour here and drop her down to two. And let's check out the mapping here. Let's go all the way down to 30. Okay, good. Here we are. And it's in road mode. Okay. Well, it's not too bad. Let's switch it over to rain mode. See if that's easier. There. Now we're in rain mode. Oh yeah, rain is much more gentle. Yeah, definitely. Rain mode is much more gentle. But, uh... So... All you, you uh... Beginning riders or entry-level riders, yeah, just stick it in rain mode and... It's nice and smooth. You don't have to be smooth. It's smooth for you. <laughs> Alright guys, after riding this bike today, I think I have a feel for what Triumph is aiming this for. Yes, it is better. And it is better to the point to where, yes, overall you get one thumbs up from me, Triumph. Previous gen, I wouldn't have given you a thumb up. So you have updated this machine enough to get one thumb up to where if somebody says I want a Triumph and I want an entry level and I want a low seat height uh, and it's easy streetable commuter I, oh, one thumber I'll give you one thumb for that Triumph definitely um, good improvement on the motor needed it rear brake it's okay front brake I would have liked dual discs um, but it's okay. Again, your entry-level riders are not going to be your performance. So, 
one word of caution guys when you look at this bike it's not a performance machine it's just not um, if you want to ride it as a standard style and lower not naked standard and lower perfect all day long riding uh, my only one major complaint are these tires these Pirelli Phantoms Trump come on no not on this bike <laughs> I know you're going for that modern classic look and it works the look works it's just that I, I, I still had chicken strips on my tires and I didn't like didn't like it it was not confidence inspiring so, um, ah, thank God the sun is out, it's coming out. And the farmer is plowing his field over there, so that'll probably show up on the audio too. But uh, overall, and the bees are out. <laughs> overall, guys, give it a thumbs up, Triumph. Good job. What I recommend is, yeah, one thumb, no problem. It's a good, uh, solid platform to learn on. Um, word of caution by your second or third summer though if you're looking to improve your skills you will find the limits of this bike right away uh, I found it in the first one or two corners but yeah I've been riding for 30 years so uh, but everything in mind I like the looks um, I like that 270 degree off crank firing order good job Triumph all right, guys. Um, thanks, Christian, for letting me take this out today. Actually, Lucas, <laughs> uh, let me check this bike out today. Thank you. I'll leave the link for Bergdorf down in the description below if you want to take this bike for a ride. And as usual, guys, number one, ride safe. That is the most important thing in the world. And ride like there's nothing to prove. Cheers.